we're all volunteer. We have the lovely Lewis and a bed volunteering. Wonderful volunteers have been with us for a long time, and that's how this thing works. Um, with regard to why we have such a crazy name, I could talk about that for a long time. If you get me high, I can talk even longer. <laughs> and show you pictures. That's the, only, maps. that's the only thing you do if we get you high. Oh uh, no, no, I do lots of things. <laughs> well, that's I'm hoping. <laughs> No. Um, I do nice things when I'm sober, too. Um, so, Bureau of General Services Queer Division, the, the, the short answer I give is we're a government agency for a government that does not yet exist. Um, so we wanted to kind of provoke some thinking about where we are as a community with regard to uh, official agencies, state agencies. Um, we're getting more and more rights from those agencies, uh, but what, what are we looking for? So it was meant to kind of provoke some thinking about where we're at as a community, um, where we look to for legitimacy, whether we look to the institutions that used to criminalize us and pathologize us, or if we look to ourselves to legitimate ourselves. So that's part of where that crazy name came from. Um, what else do I want to say? We do art exhibitions here. They're always changing. Uh, this show, Persons of Interest, was put together by Sam Gordon for visual aid. So all the artists who are represented, living and dead, um, are in some way or form connected to visual aids and the work that they've been doing uh, for many decades now uh, on behalf of people with HIV AIDS and artists specifically with HIV AIDS. Um, and this show is up through Sunday. so. Please tell people, let them know that we're here and what we're doing. Our next show is being curated by Chris Boja, uh, and it's going to be a Bushwick <coughs> show. So a lot of the younger queens who not only oh. perform, but also do uh, visual work. So that's going to be going up on October 1st. And we'll be doing a lot of programming with that, so that should be fun. If you're not already on our email list, you can sign up for that. Mark has an email list there as well, so just sign up for everything. And, and, and biz cards. And biz cards. So you can stay in touch with all of us. And so how much time do we have before? What time is it? I is think it we can start. 7.22. Right? I, mean, I don't want people it's to start. It's 10 minutes. So why don't we, no, no. So why don't we give people 10 minutes to browse the bookstore and pick up the book that they're going to buy. <laughs> uh, just in case you didn't believe me, this is the book that I purchased. It's called Fairyland by Alicia Abbott. Steve Abbott was a San Francisco poet, and she grew up, he died from AIDS, and she grew up during the late 70s, early 80s, uh, in that whole milieu in San Francisco. So this is the book that I purchased to support the bookstore. So why don't we just give them 10 okay. minutes to look around and... So today is Mark's birthday. He's 29 again. It would be bad that I told everyone today is his birthday, but no, no, that's I set it up for that. Can we just take a minute and sing Happy Birthday? No, 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 no. That, that is no. no. I will be here you. Happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday to you. I got him a miniature New York cheesecake. Oh. Now, what if, what, okay, one of the things I wanted to have while I was here is I like the old style New York cheesecake. And for anyone who doesn't know, that's not ricotta, that's not creamy, that's cakey. And you just can't find that in San Francisco. So uh, that's why I had that. Uh, somebody, if somebody would like to volunteer and get my birthday spankings, that would be great. We could arrange that. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>